Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Gamecom, and we are playing some more Total War Three Kingdoms, continuing with our Gungshun Zan campaign, and things are going well for us. We're getting, uh, well, we're pushing further and further into Yon Shao's, uh, territory. He only has, what, like, five territories left? I mean, maybe this is all the farmland, and he only has the four territories left. In which case, this should not be too hard. Let's see, two, and then four. Yeah, alright. Now, that's a small regional city. Uh, would that be above large city? I'm assuming above large city would then be that. Let's see, your city upgrade is to then large city. Do we have a large city? Yeah, then your upgrade is to a small regional city. Okay, so this is actually the largest town we've seen thus far, uh, which means the garrison's probably going to be a little annoying. Oh, uh, not really. Not really, not really. Uh, is that Yun Shao's army? Yeah, that's Yun Shao's army. So he's got a full stack out there. But this is a pretty low-level army, so I'm not super concerned. Um, question. Are these the levels? I'm assuming the four is the level? Yeah, the rank. Okay. So we have a rank eight. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, we got some high rank units. I'm assuming if they get fully wiped, then that's why they they come back super low level. So all his guys are one and two, which means he just basically re-recruited these guys. So our guys should just be able to absolutely destroy him. All right. So I definitely want these two. I'm still a little concerned about uh, Hong Xiao's army just marching through our territory. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to communicate. I mean, he's not a fan of us. Oh, Hi. We're not at war. But why can't I literally do anything else with you? Maybe because I hadn't technically met him yet? Uh, uh, here's the other thing. I might want to, like, take an army through here just to, um, and through the Yellow River just to, like, reveal some of that. I'm not entirely sure. The other thing is we also got our second army, uh, and we probably want to start moving that down. I mean, these guys are super low level. We don't have any money right now, so I think we're just good to go next turn, but, uh, we really kind of want to see what's going on here. So you're moving down to fight Yun Shao, or, uh, yeah, wait, Yun Shao? Whoever our ally is, which I'm okay. You guys can totally fight. I'm also totally okay with you going and doing some stuff. Han Fu asks to, ask to join the coalition. Um, unfortunately, Zhang Yan says no. I kind of want Han Fu there. Stupid choice. I want you to join our coalition, man. I want as many people in our coalition as possible. I still don't know how we can alter people's opinion. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do that. So, Yun Shu and Lu Bao... You and uh, Lu Bao, I think, is over here a little more. And it, nope, 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 nope. No, that's Bai, Bay. Oh my gosh, the names are too similar. <laughs> Zhang Yan, Zhang Yan, our dude right here, Zhang Yan, declared war on Lu Dai. Still don't know where that guy is, but okay, that's fine. Have fun with that war. Have fun with that war. You are looking like you're going to end up marching in and killing one of these cities, which is a little depressing. Now, I'm assuming you're having some issues here with recruitment, replenishment, but apparently not. Hmm. Three turns, five turns, five turns. I kind of want to just wait here until these guys get fully replenished. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Is there any way to do this quicker? Back to settlement. Oh, okay, so you can click the settlement there instead. All right, so I don't want the large city. I want, I think the primary thing is I want to take our city up to a large city here because I want this to be the regional city, right? More than I think I want this to be the next tier. The other thing is if we had some food, we could do some stuff there. Um, we could make a little bit extra money. This is just literally a little bit of money, although a lot more extra commerce money. And our commerce is pretty good, so that might be where we want to go with this. Um, that's income from commerce as well. Mm, let's see what else needs to be built. Commanderies. Uh, that was... Which one is this? Yeah, that's that one. Okay, then we also have you up here. You guys are still pretty pissy at me. Yeah, you guys are still pretty pissy at me. There's nothing we can build here except we can upgrade that. Um, but I don't have the funds. Yeah, we just didn't really make enough money this last turn. I'm going to go ahead and move you. I would browse their goods. I'm going to move you up here just so we can get... Um, I don't really care so much about the replenishment. I just want to get some uh, extra po uh, happiness here. So we're going to want to get you guys into that uh, settlement next turn. Just because that negative 71 is a bit of a problem. And then this is our main capital. Oh, we have two things unlocked right now. Okay. 
So let's take a quick look at what we got right now. We got the mail post, which is giving us extra money from e-commerce. And then we got the food production from the farm. And we wanted to go grab the food trader, but whatever. So we're making a lot of extra commerce stuff. So getting extra income from commerce from the marketplace is probably our best bet. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Also, maybe a military government. Military government. Let's see. What does this do? Extra public order. Starting rank for cab. Income from all sources. I mean, do I really need income? I mean, I guess there's peasantry. It's not the worst thing in the world. We could also do... Now, are these economic buildings? No, those are learning and market buildings. What are economic? Economic are these guys. So that's learning construction buildings. Yeah, that's income from industry. That's income from commerce and income from... Com uh, okay, so what about these then? I don't really care about the industry. Yeah, I don't really care about the industry. Then we got tax collector, which lowers the public order, which would be a problem. I think that's per turn, right? And then Confucian Temple. And this one's just public order. We might want to put the public order up top. I think for now, character-wide... I'm going to look at the schools, because I don't think we've ever paid attention to this. Just character experience. Nah, the schools are boring, man. Let's go do the marketplace, then. Yeah, I'm going to build a marketplace. Get us extra 50% commerce income. And I think that's going to be our turn. We still just need to kind of chill for a little bit. Uh, are you happy or are you pissed? You're pissed. And then you're also pissed. No, you're happy. You have a skill point. Wait, maybe that meant he had a skill point. Uh, maybe. All right, whatever. So you're a preacher. You're a commander. You're a level two. I, I don't quite know who is who. You, I think, are probably in one of these armies, are you not? You're an administrator. Okay, he's one of our administrators. I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So then, probably want to get the administrator stuff. Unlocks uh, assignment industrial exploitation. Mm, available assignment. Enables discipline. Authority, building, upkeep, administered, commandery. That's kind of where I want. Uh, then let's see what is this. This is just fighting, fighting. Is there anything here that's fire arrows? Nice. Cunning, authority, speed. Yeah, they all, like, aren't great. So I guess we're just going to go grab this one then. Actually, he's going to put him close to a legendary status. Plus one starting rate for all recruits, but he's not air factionally or anything like that. All right, well, we're going to go apply that to you. Congrats. And then I guess you have a level too? Yeah, you do have a level. How can we make you happier? I don't know. Instinct? I mean, it might not be the worst thing in the world, because I think I might want him in this army. Troops. Yeah, I might want him in this army. That would probably make him a little happier, too. Lack of purpose, desires for a higher core position? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. Plus one campaign movement, range when commanding, plus one available armies. Nah, see, that's boring. Uh, plus ten morale, and then scare. That seems great. I think I'll give you the scare, dude. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right. I like when they just randomly level. That That's nice. That's nice. Uh, we still got income from industry. Satisfaction for Sentinels. The Mac penalty with other. Okay. Character rank gain. You leveled up. Assignments. They've been returning to court. We should probably double check on our assignments. Uh, buildings got finished. Diplomacy. And then character development. We have a bunch more people in our territory. So do we have any assignments available? We do, actually. So there's already someone here right now. Gotcha. Is there anyone doing assignments here? Y yes. But he's coming back from assignment. What about up here? Okay, other commanders. Gotcha. So we only have one person. So this is from Commerce Silk and Spice. This is public order. And income from peasantry. I actually think I am going to do this, and I'm going to do the public order. But let's make sure we're doing this on the right one. I think I did have the right one, but okay. Yeah, I like that. I'll give you the public order one. So then that means you guys should be gaining a bunch of public order starting next turn. We're just going to take you up uh, into the positives, and then we should be good to go. And so we don't have any others available because the guy's coming back. Okay, I think we're good this turn. Let's go ahead and hit next turn. And these guys are going off to fight. Our ally just got his butt kicked by the brand new army. I'm okay with that. I'm hoping that this guy goes and fights him and kills him. And then I can come in and uh, mop up the pieces. Oh. This is our ally. 
She looks like she's 50. She's 18? She looks like she's 50 right now, dude. She looks like she's 50. <laughs> oh, Zhang Yan. No, this is Zhang Yang. I hadn't met you yet. Offers you a marriage. Our character will join their faction. No. No, I'm not joining your faction, dude. Who is this Yang Yang? Reject. This is an insult. I'm not insult. I'm not having my heir join your freaking faction, man. I'm sorry. That's not cool. Let's see if we can maybe do it the other way. Hey, Zhang Yang. Hi. This uh, is trade and marriage. Uh, receive marriage. I want you and you to get together. Negative 5.4. I didn't actually even look here. This will be short. They don't really care either way, do they? What is she? She has zero stats whatsoever. How does she have no stats? Maybe, oh, I guess just because it's unknown? Huh. Well, that's weird. Well, I'm going to cancel that. Let's see if quick deal. Yeah, confirm. Quick deal, support vassal, become vassal, trade agreement. We can do a trade agreement with them. Let us discuss matters. Yeah. We'll do a trade agreement. That's fine. Uh, request regular payments. Can I get just like a little bit of cash for this? There you go. I'll take 10 for 10 yeah, turns. Um, I really like the quick deal. It's very helpful. Quick deal, peace, non-aggression pact, become vassal. The downside is it looks like we can't actually uh, negotiate. Like any of alliances. Can we invite you to join our coalition? Zhang Yang would say yes, but you definitely don't want it. Okay, just, you know, well, trying to see. Offer tribute, invite, uh, trade a marriage. Now, invite to join coalition. You don't like it, but not by much, man. Dang, she would be really good for this. She would be really good for this if our dude wasn't so annoying. Mm, invite to join our coalition. Nope. Basically, just kind of going down the list real quick and just seeing what everyone wants. Military access. Okay. He might be too big. Yeah, I can't do anything with you. Trade and marriage. Nothing there. Hey, would you join our coalition? Uh, nope. Zhang Yan. Alliances, leave coalition. Oh, that's our dude. Uh, Zhang Yan. It is you. Or no, it's Hong Shuao. Yeah, we're at war with you. Trade territory. Invite to join the coalition. Reject and reject. It's closer. Trade and marriage. Nope. Invite to join the coalition. Uh, nope. And then, last but not least, nothing. No marriage. And then coalition. Nope. All right. All right. We went through everything. Not much is going to happen there. So you got your butt kicked quite a bit. Yun Shao. That's the guy we're currently fighting. You actually have a second army, too, because this is also Yun Shao. Um, my hope is that you're going to actually get the kill there. You guys are still just chilling for now. This should be plus 15. Yep. And then let's put you on regular stance and get you in the toolmaker. And then this should go above plus 15, then. 21. Yeah, I like to see that. I like to see that. We could go recruit some stuff there, but I'm not super concerned about that. I don't really want to raise any of these towns. The only thing I really want to do is take you up to a city. What is this? Negative six, negative ten. So that's another negative four food. Oi. Oi. Is there any way to get more food? That's income. We could get one more food here. Salt mine, large city, city, town. I, I'm a little shocked at how bad food production is. Honestly, I thought food production would be a little bit better. I think we're actually going to lose some food here, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're about to lose some food. Is this in our capital? That's in our capital. So we might... We might... Grain storage... Does grain storage give us more food eventually? No. Just public order. Who cares about that? Land development, we already built. Anything here give us food? This is extra food production. 
You're currently only producing two, so that doesn't really seem worth it. Uh, labor, anything else give us food production? We could once again trade for food. I just don't really want to. Nothing else gives us food? Seriously? We're gonna check the schools. I kind of like the idea of grabbing... We talked about this a while. I think it's the conscription. No, no, it's the military infrastructure to give us a better garrison in our capital. Uh-huh. Even though I don't really think it's worth it. How am I going to get freaking food, guys? How am I going to get more food? Uh, uh... Uh, cause we got all these, like, we got these weird ones, like the horse pasture is about the only one. I don't even think that's giving us food. No. And the trade port's not giving us food. We have tool maker, which isn't giving us food. We have the fishing port, which does give us food. But not a lot. I think we just gotta roll with that. We're just in this weird spot where we just have zero food production available. And I think I need to go ahead and build the, um... I did the land development. Yeah, so we're going to have to go grab the irrigated farms here. Let's actually cancel this. I'm going to build it here instead. Yeah, I'm going to build it there instead. So we have a little bit of money available. You guys are fully maxed out. I might as well, with the little bit of cash we have, go ahead and just... Um, wondering about... She actually really is cool with this. We already have a blue. No, no, no. We wanted the red, man. We just don't have the money. Yeah, these guys are expensive. These guys are expensive. Uh, also, speaking of which, our assignment should be done. Yeah, we should have a new assignment available. So, income from commerce. I think this is probably our best spot for commerce. Uh, this is 563. Uh, just looking at commerce. 395. Not enough. Yeah, so this is our best spot for commerce. So we'll go grab you. And income from commerce still can spike. Spice. A sign. So that should hopefully make us a little bit extra money. Um, Alright, so we can't recruit any, but we can recruit some more troops. Do we want any of these troops is the question, though. I do like the swordsman, man. I do like the swordsman. You're already maxed out. Maybe just two of these guys. And by two, just one. Because these guys are strictly better, right? They have better melee toughness, better morale. They actually have... Ooh, what is that? They have shield wall. Nice. But less melee power. Do you have the options to give us shield wall? Aha! Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so we definitely want to roll with those guys then. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, speaking of which... He has shield wall as well. Nice. I'm wondering then... Should we start, like, looking at upgrading some of these guys? None of these guys have any better things, though. Huh. So we got a red and a yellow. And then you're purple. So I guess the guard just gets better units, then, is what it looks like. So, I kind of hate the fact that we've not really fought a war here for a little bit. Oh, he's actually coming at me? Really? You want to do this, man? You want to do this? You got, like, level 1 troops right now. Now, the downside is that probably lowers happiness. Yun Shao. Uh, who we don't know yet. Signed a peace treaty with Hung Shao. Okay. Yun Shu. You declared war on Lu Dai. Which, we don't know where he's at. All right, that's fine. Sees the future. Scholar joins your faction. Ask for an audience with you. Begging no disrespect. He tactfully explains that through his previous lord was lacking, though his previous lord was lacking leadership, he was in a position of advancement that have thus far evaded your factions. He suggested there are many useful reforms available. Okay, so I can basically get, or I basically got a new guy then. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, He gives us cunning and extra experience. I kind of think we probably just want to put him... Well, let's look here. What are we currently doing? We got the four. Yeah, we'll, we'll go use this guy. So, only if this character is Prime Minister, Error, Faction Leader. Yeah, and then we get plus 10 character experience faction-wide. Seems amazing. Seems amazing. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so we probably have happiness going down just a little bit because they're currently in my territory. I definitely have the balance of power. There's no reason for me not to just, like, uh, stay where I'm at. 
Yeah, I mean, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Not much. Alright, I wanted to upgrade and get more food. Do that, do that. Like, let's just keep getting the food. And then we have just enough money to go ahead and recruit... Um... One more of these guys. Can I move those troops into a different army? Probably not, right? Probably not. It would be great, though. Okay, so you're at negative 50, so you guys are taking off pretty dang quick. Which... I think I'm great. I'm happy with. So, money is a little sketchy. I would not mind increasing our money. Lower building upkeep. 10% income from commerce and industry. That one seems pretty nice. That one seems pretty nice. Peasantry, I don't think we have that much right now. We currently already got the administrator positions. I would love another administrator position. Military supply, construction cost. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell which ones you got. Just throwing that out there. Trade influence. Uh, building upkeep. Maybe with higher trade influence, we could get some people on our side. Like, some more people on our side. I think I'm going to go grab the industry and commerce. I actually lower construction time by one. Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab that. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, let's go next turn. Such as general... Happiness again. Is he just going to bypass me? Yeah, I'm good with this. Zhang Zhang. You're way over there. Actually, I want you in our freaking faction, man. I think you would be great. Because it would, number one, keep our ally from growing too big. Um, just because he would kind of have a cap. And then, number two, it's just another person with us. Make us a little more powerful. Yun Shu... That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Declared war on Wang Lang. Well, we've not met Wang Lang yet. Um, hi. So what I wanted, faction grouping, I wanted... Zhang. No, I wanted the chick. Yeah, yeah. It is time yeah. Is there any way to make this happen? The only thing I can think of is if we increase our diplomatic power, maybe? 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 I don't really know, man. I don't really know. I don't really know. I could have him focus this army, but he also got his butt kicked. Actually, hold up. Let's look here real quick, because he lost his straight, like, straight up lost his army right now. Yeah, so he's weak compared to us. Who's the guy we're currently at war with? Uh, that's Yon Xiao. We're currently equal. Yeah, because he's got the two armies. But my armies are just strictly better at this point still. Well, maybe not this army. This army's still a little tiny. But, you know. You're at 3,900. Money's pretty good again. Yeah, money's pretty good again. We could upgrade our salt mine. Gives us extra income. An extra 100 per turn. Not terrible. Or we could go for more food production. Do we have peasantry money? Yeah. I'm going to go for more food production. I just feel like we're going to need all the food production. <laughs> Uh, we're kind of having to build it. I think he's trying to make a play for the salt mines, which, whatever. The salt mines are pretty decent garrison, too, right? No, they are not. Maybe I should upgrade you, then. Uh, it doesn't even upgrade this. Lots of money, though. Lots of money. Lots of money. Uh, okay, go next. He's gonna have to land. When he lands, I'll go murder him. So, this is Lube, who... Is right there. He wants our devious attendant. And he'll pay us 651. We are a trusted friend with each other. Can I make a little more? That's fine. I'll take it. I'm not using the attendant right now anyways. So go ahead. Make him like me a little more. I want him to join my uh, thing. Now, there's no way he can move. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way he can get into those salt mines this turn. I will be pissed if he can. Now, the other thing is, he's not... Um... Oh, he ended up taking the farmland. Okay. Maybe I should piece him out so he goes and takes him back and then go declare. Alright, I'm here to kill you, by the way. I don't think he could run, either. Uh, we're going to start battle. I don't think he could run. 
So what does he got? He's got... He actually has some level 3s, level 4s now. How is he gaining experience, by the way? He wasn't fighting battles. I don't know. That's a good question. That's a very good question. I mean, I got level 8 freaking horse archers here, so... <laughs> not super concerned. Also, I have more troops. Um... And I have the Artie, so we're going to be able to just blow the crap out of him. And he's got, like, the crappy troops. Like, these are the tier 1 guys, so I'm not super concerned at all. And he doesn't even have that many archers either, so... This is a very interesting map. Mm-hmm. This is actually a very interesting map. I kind of dig it. Yeah, I dig it because we basically can keep our dudes from getting flanked. Let's uh, do this. And then I'm going to put you guys like here. So the whole goal is to keep these guys with this on our flanks so he can't get us. Something like that will be fine. All right. And then we wanted archer, 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 archer. You guys are going to go on three, I think, is what we normally do. And then you guys are going to come like this. And then let's put you up here. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that should be a little bit better. And then uh, Cav, Cav, Cav on four. And I'm just going to keep you guys like over here for now. And then everyone else is on two. Yeah, you guys go on two, and then you guys are basically going to cover this route right here. Something like that, with just curve it straight just a little bit. There we go. And then you guys can come on up here just so we can guarantee a hit. And then you guys all in one. Something like this should be fine. Okay, and then with the cav, I mean, we could march the cav through the f uh, forest here. We could, and then try flanking them. Not opposed to the idea. Not opposed to the idea. Do I have spearmen in this army? No, but I do have the halberd infantry, so you'll cover the flank then. All right, uh, let's go do this. You guys just murder the middle. They're coming at us, which is what we want to see. So then I need you guys up here. That'll work. And remember, we're going to want to charge up with our dudes. He actually has some spearmen. Murder. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That was epic. Did you see those guys go flying? Holy crap. They went like... They just, like, completely went flying. Wow, I hate how little duels we end up finding ourselves in recently. I don't know, I feel like they just never getting duels. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> what? <laughs> These guys are getting wrecked. I mean, I'd anticipate a giant, like, 50-pound rock whacking you at, like, 100 miles an hour is probably going to send you flying. But my god, that was even worse than I was expecting. Like, that's kind of crazy, dude. That was kind of crazy. These guys are wrecked at this point. You can see the morale is absolutely zero now. Yo, yeah, get over here quickly, quickly. Just trying to, like, the archers are shooting us, which I'm fine with. Wow, we just wrecked. Yeah, we just completely wrecked them. Are they going to come at us? If they're going to come at us, I'm cool with that. All right, you guys get in on here. Um, two, you guys come forward. Probably going to send our ones at those guys, just FYI. You guys are about to just get murdered. Yeah, you guys just murder these guys. That's fine. You come, like, here just to cover the flank. And all the archers are about to just to get wrecked. So, you guys are almost broke. Come on. Break them, break them, break them. There you go. Hit the rest of the cav. And let's pause this really quick just so I can switch up uh, 
who goes where. So that's one, that's two. Where's my third cav? Ah, oh, there he is. They're merging together, man. They're merging together. So I think I'm going to send my uh, lord over there. Let's do something like this. Get a little rotation going. And then I'm going to get you in there on that hero. Their uh, archers are all basically broken at this point. Yeah, let's go hit here. And then what are you guys doing? You guys are shooting things. Ah, actually, hold up. Stop. And free uh, fire at will is turned off. That's what I want to see. So you get up there. I don't know what you guys are doing, but keep hitting. I don't know how you guys ended up over there. I mean, I know, but... Then you come over here. You get there. Get there. You guys are hitting these guys. You guys come down here and hit these guys. I don't know where those guys came from, but that's okay. You guys are murdering that, murdering that. Um, let's go ahead and turn you guys off and turn off all fire at will too. Just because at this point, I think at this point it is worthless. So there we go, we got the cab going. You guys get up here, you guys get up here. Come over like that. You're breaking these guys. I'm surprised these guys actually didn't break yet. Did we kill his lord? You're killing the horse. His lord's right there. Yeah, we want to kill these lords, man. Get in there. Good, good, good. Those guys are all breaking. You guys come over here, and then we're going to put the three to murder these archers, or murder these guys as they start running away. Uh, hey, with these guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys just shoot there. Okay, that'll work for now. They basically are completely broken. I thought I sent you over here. I did. So everyone's broke except their lord. There we go. I don't really want to chase down their cab. It's just going to be too slow. So you guys go get a, the spear guard. Okay. There's our victory. And then you guys go get... I guess go get the spear guard. I don't know. Ah! Why are you guys attacking in? What are you doing? Shoot! Oh, you don't have any uh, uh, bows left. Crap, I think you were just taking damage. Probably were. All right, we're just gonna claim victory. So that was a complete total domination. They have 86 guys left, we have 1,300. I think they killed less than 100 guys. No, they killed about 200, right? Like 150 or something like that, and we killed 1,300? Yeah, that was a pretty ridiculously good battle for us. Look at that, oh my gosh, dude. I wonder if we just stack wipe them. Hopefully we did. If not, we should be able to finish them off. Now nah, we stack wiped. Nice. Yeah, we lost 215. They lost 1200. Uh, so we captured a character. He's wise, he's impeccable, and he's coordinated. So we can employ him, and we're going to pay him some money. I am fonder of my head than loyal to this faction. Allow me to join you, and I'll serve you well. He's pretty dang good, dude. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's got a decent retinue as well. I'm gonna employ him. I'm gonna employ him. We've never done that yet. 1,200 gold's pretty decent. I'm gonna ransom. I'm gonna ransom. Alright, that works. That works. Goodbye, army. Uh, I can't get you there. So now that we've employed him, killed him battle... Uh, we killed one of their guys. We gained a clay fish, which is authority and satisfaction. And then we got character development. Okay. Uh, any levels? No. Who's the guy we just picked up? There. He's one turn away. Low general, general satisfaction. We have a couple people very unhappy with us. You're actually in this army. Why are you unhappy? What do you wish, my Why are you unhappy right now? Desires for higher court position. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe the green guy might not be a bad uh, 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 army, dude. Mm-hmm. Leading an army. That's our spy! So you're saying our spy is leading an army? Uh, 
Okay. What happens if we go to fight that army? What happens when we go to fight that army? Also, I really hate how he just put an army here. What, well, um, question. Hung Xiao, diplomacy. Hung Xiao, he's actually a little weaker than us. So if I went and just wrecked him, I probably could just like seriously just go like take his territory. I could go for the small city, but I really need that farmland, man. I wonder if I could actually buy the farmland from him. Hi, uh, oh, I can't even talk to you. Why? Just because he's so pissy at us. I, I'm, I'm tempted to just go surround this army. I don't actually want to talk to him. Uh, I'm tempted just to close. I'm tempted to come just like surround this because the farmland's not going to have any garrison. Eh. I actually have the balance of power still. Just to take it. Mm, yeah. I mean, I am tempted. I am definitely tempted. I don't want to upgrade any of our towns at this point. Um, so, I think what I want to do is probably the fishing port, but you're already upgrading. Hmm, let's look at commanderies. You're not building anything over here. But the only thing we can upgrade is this, but I don't want to do that because... Actually, no, that's okay. That's okay. I was worried about doing that because I didn't want this to um, uh, use more food, but it's not going to. Now, once again, you have an unhappy person in this army. I don't know what that means. Your general's unhappy. Can I... Can I just promote you or something like that? Can I give you something here? This gives you extra satisfaction. So maybe that'll help. He's at 25 now. Maybe I could find a guy that gives us more satisfaction. I don't know. And then I wanted to, I think, recruit the new guy. Unfortunately, he just has... Okay, so his base... I mean, it's a pretty decent, but they're all, like, kind of low. Like, he's level 4, which is nice. And then he's a champion. Who's the other one we we're looking at? I think we we're looking at uh, Xu Yang. Mounted Lancers. Vanguard, excellent at breaking through uh, enemy troops. The champion is best used to engage enemy generals. And then we have the, what is this? The guard, which is, I think, for about holding a line. Locking down enemy generals. Hmm. It's a good question, who we want to use. I think I'll maybe go with the new guy. I think I'll maybe go with the new guy. These guys aren't that good. These guys kind of suck. I mean, I guess maybe they're not terrible. Let's, yo, yo, give me that. Give me that. Spear guard. Why? Ugh. I think, I think we wait next turn. And then we go do that. And then once again, uh, wait, I thought we... Oh, I see. Then this town as well. Now, going to a city is going to lower food production, so I definitely don't want to do that. So, sure. Next turn, then we'll wrap up this episode. Hi. You want a peace with us. See, I want some territory from you. What is this territory right here? Large city. Give me yay. That's his capital, so he won't do it. And he was going to pay us 1300 Nah. Sorry. You are too I also have to kill you anyways. So, it's fine. I'm too greedy. Yeah, you know. You know. Zhang Yan. Yan Shu. Yan Shu. We'll invite them. But it looks like he doesn't want to do it. So, he's good, but Yun Shu said no. Man, it's a little confusing, the whole coalition thing. Yeah, they need to tweak that ever so slightly. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, overpopulation. Constructed buildings completed. Congrats. We got support from artisans. Good, 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 good. I need to get another quest here, don't I? 
You're going to come back to the large town. Is that lowering happiness because you guys are recruiting a bunch of people now? No. Hi. Evoke console. What do you got? Uh, Move any character to the fishing port. All right. You should be okay now. Yeah, you guys are great now. So I'm going to go ahead and move you then to the fishing port. And while you're moving there, I'm going to go ahead and recruit our new guy. Ben, do not break. Yeah, I think these guys are good. Welcome, my lord. As long as he Your stays... I know he literally was just in our enemy's army. I don't think he'll break. And if he does, like, break and go to the other side, guess what? We also have, you know, a person in charge of their territory, too. Okay, so... She moved out. She's now over here in the farmland. So the city is actually completely unoccupied. The capital. I'm kind of tempted to go. Impossible. I'm kind of tempted to go. Let's look here really quick. Diplomacy. I'll look at diplomatic set. Now, attitude's probably our best option. So he hates us. We're at war with them. Then you all love us. So I think we should be fairly safe. And here's the other thing. Yon Shao should be extremely weak. Compared to us. It's inferior. But keep in mind, we also have... Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. So, I need to get here. It's going to take a couple turns. For China. Wait, what? Oh! Fire needs Whoopsie. He spent his entire turn actually getting into town. Ah, screw that one up. Screw that one up. Uh, a little general satisfaction. You actually have a level. Hi, buddy. Um, Wait. No, you're not the one with the level. Purple's the one with the level. You actually have a point here. You are just one of the advisors, I'm pretty sure. So... Available trade agreements. Income from industry. Oh, wait. We currently have that one. Never mind. Sure, whatever. Just grab that one. And then you're also unhappy as well. I, I just can't... I don't have any higher court positions available, so I don't really understand uh, what we can do to make them happy. The only thing we could potentially do is grab, like, followers, extra followers and stuff like that to make them happy. Yeah, I mean, you already have a follower. You already have a follower. I just don't really know what else we can do. Because none of this actually gives satisfaction, right? I don't think so. Can I give them a raise? You know what? I'm going to promote you. Make you a little happier. And I'm going to promote you too. Just to make them a little happier. Uh, and then our new dude. You should really love us. Because... I think he should love us just because of what just happened. Desires for a higher court parent. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to like... Probably gonna have to do that at some point. Give them higher court. So, you're upgrading. I want to take you up here, but I need 15k for that. The other thing is income and income. And then we still have an extra building here. Does this give an extra building slot? No. No. So, I'm not super concerned about that. You're coming down there. And I think we're good. You have two things available. We could actually upgrade the fishing port. It gives us more commerce income, which is pretty dang good at this point. Or would I rather just save it and go for a large city? I don't have the food. I don't have the food. Which is why I really want the freaking farmland here, man. Yeah, I really want that freaking farmland. I think... We got to go eliminate Yun Shao. I think I need to take out these three. There's another farmland here. So if I go conquer all three of these, then we can just go back and grab that one later. This is his new army. Actually, that's the Han Empire. 
Okay, well, anyways, let's wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. Next episode, we're probably going to push towards the large city, and we'll see uh, what happens after that. Till then, bye, everyone.